Now, what are the benefits of certification? Benefits, number one is when it comes to, the, again, the benefits can be divided into two parts. One, your individual benefits. Second, benefits for your company. For your organization, it boosts the bottom line. Because when it comes to Six Sigma, Six Sigma is always targeting a cost improvement. Whether you will be able to reduce your unnecessary expenses or you will be able to increase your profits. Whatever it is, it will boost your organization's revenues. Second, on an individual aspect, it will help you to advance your career. Someone with a certification in quality will not be considered in the same way as another candidate without a certification in quality. Let's say you are applying for a managerial position and you are attending the interviews with other candidates. If you have the certification, CMQOU certification from ASQ, you will always be having a distinct advantage compared to your other uh, other candidates. Now, this is the advantage and also it will help you to advance your career. Certification from ASQ is a mark of excellence from the world's most reputed quality related body. You know, it is uh, ASQ is known throughout the world. Wherever you go, ASQ certification is accepted. And then when it comes to Six Sigma, you will be able to lead and champion the process and quality improvement initiatives also. Six Sigma black belts will be asked to lead projects, process and quality improvement projects in companies. For achieving the Six Sigma black belt certification, you need some experience in addition to green belt certification plus a little extra knowledge for the black belt. We will be launching the black belt in our phase two only. In our phase one, we will be launching the green belt related training programs. And then you will be able to deploy quality management tools and techniques in resolving the organizational challenges. Now, why do we do a training with IT experts training? How does it uh, make sense when it comes compared to other uh, training providers? Now, we will be providing practice question sessions during each session. Like every session, we will be sharing some questions, practice questions that are related to the exam. Like for example, if you are going to attempt green belt certification exam, we will be taking some practical questions from the exam and then we will be giving you for practice. So you will be familiar with the questions from each session because each session will be tailored to a particular topic. We will be giving you questions related to that particular topic. And then after the end of each module also we will be giving you practice questions. And then we'll be evaluating your answers and then we'll provide guidance. What are the, if, if you are giving the correct answer, why it is correct. If you are giving a wrong answer, why it is wrong and what is the correct answer. We'll be able to guide you. It will be one on one coaching. You know? And then we'll be also providing mock exams. So the, uh, the exams like quality auditor, CMQ, green belt, they are all considered as difficult exams. Specifically, I can give you a statistics related to CMQ OE, where the pass rate is around 20 percentage, which means very less compared to uh, the other certification programs offered by other bodies. So only one in five participants will be able to pass the exam. So you need to be really thorough with your knowledge and also you need to be having a very strong understanding of quality management in order to pass the exam. So in order to prepare you in the, in the right way for your uh, exams, we will be giving you mock exams. Mock exams will be two types. One, specific to a subject, wherein initially in the modules we will be giving mock exams specific to subjects. Once the training is completed, in the end we will be conducting a mock exam which is similar to the actual exam. And then we will be evaluating your answers, we will be giving you feedback. If someone is very, very, if we are confident that a particular candidate will be able to pass the exam, then we will ask you to proceed and go to ASQ website, you can register for your exam and then you can proceed with the certification exam. If you are not prepared, if we know that you know you are not uh, yet prepared for attempting the exam, we will ask you to wait and we will also give you advice on how to improve your knowledge before you are ready for attempting the exams. Because the exam is also a bit expensive, it comes to about $400. Uh, the actual price keeps on differing they will, uh, for uh, at the time of uh, Attempting the exam, you can refer to the ASQ website for the correct exam fee, but it's not cheap. So since the, the examination is a bit expensive, we need to ensure that you are thoroughly prepared before you actually attempt. We also give practical tips for attempting the exam, how, what you should attempt first, what are the do's, what are the don'ts, 
how you will improve your chance of completing your uh, examination successfully. We will keep on giving you practical tips. We will also give you guidance for exam registration, how to register, what are the advantages of uh, applying as an ASQ member, what are the, uh, if, you are, if you don't want to be an uh, ASQ member, how do we proceed with the exam registration, we will give you the guidance. And then once you finish your examination, you will have the results, we will give you an after exam assessment as well as feedback. In most of the ASQ exams, if you are successful, you will only receive a letter stating that you have successfully completed. But if you have failed, if you have not successfully completed, they will give you your feedback stating that these are the areas where you have not met the minimum requirement when it comes to the ASQ's body of knowledge. So we will do a one-on-one -on -one assessment and we will give you further guidelines on how to improve your knowledge and your uh, subject matter expertise. Now, we also provide support. During the training program, if you are raising any questions that are related to the particular module, we will be answering it within a reasonable time. This is one. The, at the end of each session, we will be having a question and answer session. Questions raised after the sessions will be answered within three days. We will be able to answer your questions. And then free evaluation of certification outcome if a candidate fails. This is an important support which is not provided by other institutions. So this is one clear advantage of going with IT experts training. And about CMQOE, this is a, now we will give a brief introduction to the certification programs that are offered by ASQ. Number one is Certified Manager of Quality and Organizational Excellence. So you, can, you will be able to use the logo which is given on the top right of the presentation, Certified Manager of Quality and Organizational Excellence, for the period that you are certified. As I was telling you earlier, this carries a recertification requirement, which means your certification will be valid for three years, and then you need to recertify yourself either through an exam or through a set of activities. Like, for example, you should have minimum three years of work experience, you can contribute to seminars, you can contribute, you can conduct some training programs, you can attend some training programs so that you will be earning some points. No need to, in such case, you no need to write an exam, you will be able to recertified. CMQOU is considered as a flagship certification scheme from ASQ. They will be able to facilitate and lead team efforts to establish and monitor customer supplier relationships. There are two types of exams. One is a computer based exam. The second one is a paper and pencil. Just last year or one and a half years ago, they switched over to the computer based testing. Earlier it was only paper based. Now you have two options. Now when it comes to computer based testing, some questions will be unscored, 15 questions will be unscored, otherwise you will have 150 questions. So in computer based, you will have 165 multiple choice questions and an essay. There will be a total of four and a half hours, two parts, essay is considered as one part. And you know about the multiple choice, when it comes to essay, they will give you three essays and you have to choose two among them. And these two essays will be carrying equal weights. And then essay is considered as one part, multiple choice questions are considered as the other part. For this particular exam, you need to be familiar with essay writing. If you are poor in essay writing, if your essay is not matching to their requirement, obviously you will not be able to successfully pass the exam. And of course, we will be giving you guidelines related to the essay as well. In paper based, all questions will be scored, there will be 150 questions you will be allocated to a center, you will be able to choose an exam center near your location. For example, if you are in India, all the major cities have an exam center like uh, Chennai, Bangalore, Mumbai, they will conduct exams everywhere. You will be able to choose your location and then you can attempt the exam. Computer based, again you need to register to your nearest uh, examination center. This is much similar to your uh, other certification programs who are, um, you know, wherein you can uh, go to a certified training provider who are authorized to administer exams and then you will be able to attempt the exam, the computer-based exam. 